I don't know if I'm just being paranoid, but does my face feel hot? Yeah, I guess we'll go stick a swab up your throat tomorrow, up your nostril tomorrow. Aspen was exposed and Branson and Mara were exposed. Branson hasn't been feeling good today and I haven't felt very good today. Um, we are pretty much quarantined for a minute. All the plans we had coming up might be put on hold for 14 days while we all quarantine here at home. <laughs> Pretty exciting to watch that food truck driveway. Hey, Johnny and TR have been working their tails off to try to get this thing ready, and it is so close, so close. We'll be right back with the man. All right. We have what TR is calling a test this morning with uh, the inspector. So the inspector is going to be uh, walking through the truck and checking everything out. And uh, TR says he does not want to get anything less than 100% on this test. Um, we will see what the guy has to say. He's a nice guy. He's, he, uh, I love that he's very thorough in his expectation because he he doesn't hold back or doesn't sugarcoat it when he says this needs to be changed or that has to happen. And so as we're getting this truck prepared to be in service, they want to make sure that it's 100% safe and that we have everything ready to serve people in a, uh, a very safe and a healthy way. The inspection's over. And uh, I'm excited to hear what TR has to say. He just left with the inspector to go inside and, and uh, pay the fees because um, it sounds like we may have passed the test. But I want to hear what TR has to say first. Okay, well, how did your conversation go? Good. We got a thumbs up, right? We got a thumbs We're moving up. Forward. He doesn't need to see us again. He likes it. He says we've got a great unit here. He, uh, he told me that he loved how organized I was and it shows I'm going to be a good operator. We are in the clear, so... TR is going to be running the very first ever food truck. Smoke meat taco truck. Smoke yeah. taco. Yay! It's very exciting. Now, we do need to get uh, decals on that trailer. And uh, a picture of that. that's what's going to happen today. We're going to make that yep. finalization. And just a little more paperwork from the city and we're we're clear baby we're so exciting we're selling it's been a lot of work but it's uh paying off work pays off always did you see it no i found him him who no no they were looking for diaper for a long time? Yeah. I found him. Whoa, where did you find it? In this pocket. That means you can actually go out in public again. You crumbled him back up though. I just straightened him all out. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Let's see, does diaper still work? Still works. Yay, um. diaper. <laughs> all right. And <laughs> it's over. <laughs> when Canyon went to the emergency room to get his holes glued up he got that mask and he named it diaper yeah. and it's been his favorite mask and he was missing for a while that's why Canyon was so excited to show Johnny that he had found it because he found it in his shorts and now it's clean yeah when I got these shorts out I felt a, a, a dot and so I grabbed it and it is diaper, and so I put it back in. That's so cool. We're uh, removing the seeds, which is the really spicy stuff from these ancho peppers. I'm amazed that you have this blender from 1980. Yeah! <laughs> the Osterizer Galaxy. Been running 
long as I can remember. I saw that blender and I had one, I think like six years ago that was hanging around in my pantry and then we finally got rid of it, but I saw that and I'm like, what, where did you find that? But TR really had it in his car. It's not the one that was hanging around here forever. No, it's my mother's blender. She gave it to me when she got a nice Vitamix. Nice. And that just goes to show that things used to be made to last forever. Yes. Now they're made to, to die and buy more and buy more and buy more and buy more. And buy more. Oh boy, we're gonna test this out finally. It's gonna happen right now. We have a, uh, a task. There are some killer pictures of his face on the logos. We just have no pictures of food. So yep. uh, Chef Tommy really needs some pictures of food for uh, the Instagram page and for advertisements and things like that. But we have no pictures of the food. So unfortunately, very fortunately, we get to make some food tonight for tomorrow just to take pictures Yep. and to eat. We're gonna eat it too. So, Maybe have family come drive by the back gate yeah. and we'll hand tacos over the wall. Yeah, with uh, with all of the coronavirus talk that we've had, with people that we've had uh, come in contact with over the last few days, Branson and Mara being one of those, um, we are pretty much quarantined for a minute until we get yep. those tests back from those individuals that um, we've been in contact with. And if any of us start getting sick or whatever, we're gonna have to go in and get checked as well. Ooh, look at that jet. There is an event one week from tonight. One week from tonight, there's an event uh, to kick this trailer off. And uh, Chef Tommy's gonna be in business from that point. Um, and you'll see within the next few days, you're gonna see what this truck is called and all that fun stuff. And we'll share it on Instagram as well. But one week and uh, it may not happen if the coronavirus thing is, uh, is part of our family. So far, everybody's feeling just fine, right? A little tired, a little grouchy, but that's normal. It's been a long week. <laughs> it's been a long week. Look at the smoke in the air from the smoker. Yeah. That's rad. Yeah, it's just hanging out right here. That's cool. Smoke it. I don't know if I'm just being paranoid, but does my face feel hot? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So hot. Are you really going to have coronavirus after all this time <laughs> of threatening? I don't know. I don't want it, but I haven't felt good. I don't feel good either. My medicine's wearing off and I'm getting really dizzy. Do I feel hot? I don't know. My hands are hot. You do Your feel Your hands warm. are not hot. Your hands are cold. Do your hands feel hot to you? Yeah. They feel On you? really hot and sweaty. Your hands aren't hot. <laughs> <laughs> my palms aren't? Your palms are clammy. <laughs> Those are all things. Clammy palms? Yes, that is one of the things. Uh-oh. I guess we'll go stick a swab up your throat tomorrow, up your nostril tomorrow. <laughs> we'll just tag team Branson. Yeah. I was hoping you'd come, I'd come down and you guys would be like, you are being paranoid. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> How All right. accurate is this? I don't thing? have a thermometer. And so we're going to try this. It's probably the same thing as what they use at the hospital. I don't know if it's supposed to beep or what. I don't think so. Are you supposed to move it around or just keep this it in one place? Weird. What is it at? 
93.3. Isn't it supposed to be 98.7? I don't know. Let's see, open your mouth. Your lips are 94.5. <laughs> <laughs> your throat is 93. How accurate do we know what this thing is? I don't have any idea. With this thing, she's fine. Wait, 98. Yeah, you're really cold with that thing. Because the average body temperature is... 98.6. Yeah, so if that's correct, then... Then you're really cold, which I don't think so. I don't think that's correct. No. Doesn't one of the kids have a thermometer for school? They're at the wall thermometers, though. The wall thermometers. You can't take those. <laughs> no. mm -mm. We might have a bum thermometer. <laughs> I don't really... Oh, we'll just have to go get you tested tomorrow. Sorry. Can we call in, or can we just go in? Um... Well, we'll talk to Branson and see what they figured out. We'll figure it out in the morning. Okay, love, love you. Good night. <laughs> okay. So Branson, Marco polo'd us, and Aspen was exposed, and Branson and Mara were exposed, and we're exposed. Yeah, we're exposed to them. If they're, if any of their tests come back positive then we will have to go get tested. And the sad thing is, is we won't get to hang out with our nephew and his family while they're here. Yeah, that was, we were looking forward to that this weekend, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My dad did call tonight and say that he's gonna take him for a drive by tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, really? Good. Yeah, so we'll get to wave to him outside the house. Oh, but Branson hasn't been feeling good today. He's, he was up last night with sinus issues. And then today he hasn't felt very good, and I haven't felt very good today. And Danielle, how are you feeling? Not amazing, not bad. You're I'm tired. Bed. Uh, my head still hurts. So we'll keep watching. Hopefully no one else will get sick. Nope. And hopefully us that are sick won't get sicker. The main thing is, is TR, because he's the one who's immune compromised. We haven't been around my dad or anybody there since Sunday. And we hadn't seen Aspen till Monday, and she was in, she was exposed on Saturday, and then we saw her, saw her on Monday. So, so we haven't been around my dad, so that's a good thing. But Tr is immune compromised, so we got to watch him and make sure that he doesn't get sick. All the plans we had coming up might happen, and they might be hold, put on hold for 14 days while we all quarantine here at home. For seven weeks? No, 14 yeah. days is, yeah, 14 days is two weeks. I mean, it meant two weeks. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll just keep plugging along and doing what we're supposed to do and, and learn whatever we're supposed to learn from this. We could take this opportunity and say, why me? Why does this have to happen to me? We could go into victim around it. We could be mad at, Aspen, we could be mad at Branson and Mara, and we could be mad at them, And but the truth is we are around people all the time, every day, whether it's going to the store, whether it's working together, whether it's going to school, anything, we're around other people, and they're around other people, and they're around other people, and Corona is spiking again, it's getting bad again, and so, we can't just avoid people for the rest of our lives. We will do our best to be safe and social distance. And if we have coronavirus, then we will stay away from people until it's over. And we'll just do our best to keep moving forward. Because that is what is so important, is to move forward with good attitudes and to learn what we're supposed to learn while we're here. We love you guys so much. Keep being amazing, and always remember that yeah. you, you are, are worth it. it. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bum, bum, bum.